Hello guys, Gladiator Bricks here with another Leopon rant. So, you haters out there who are going to properly hit the dislike button on this, remember this. You guys are already a fan of a series of something that pretty much makes me want to grab it and break it. Here's the truth about Leopon. It's the same quality as Mega Bloks or Creo. You get what I mean there? And they copy and clone sets. That's about all I have to tell you. There. Also, it's a... Last time I checked, copyright is wrong. The only reason why you people are buying it is because it's cheap. Let's say it was expensive. It went to the same price as LEGO. That's right. What if it went to the same price as LEGO? Would you buy it then? And if you answer me, if you answer no in the comments, that means you just said you would rather buy LEGO than Leppin then. Which means, yep. Now I will admit, I have almost bought Leppin products before. I thought it was just a LEGO, but it was because the set was discontinued. And I thought it was a Lego set, but then a friend of mine pointed out one little detail. Chinese writing, that was when I first learned about Lepin. Now, the fact is, you can easily mistake Lepin, a Lepin box, if it doesn't, if, because it matches the same writing, uh, sometimes, they almost match the exact same, they pretty much match the same box entirely. Except for the one piece that makes it so they can't really... The um, writing always has Chinese on it. Or something else. Or says Lepin. Which means... Mega, that, which means they were just ripping off that. Now, Lepin rips off any kind of sets. They, any kind of sets from Lego. Even ones that are not even released yet which is kinda of weird because there are sets that are discontinued they could probably make some money by just stealing the ideas for that set but Lepin pretty much makes a thing out of stealing their whole company is a giant stealing idea stealer they don't they don't have designers who design their sets they don't have anything except for copy machines that copy the sets I actually believe they buy the actual Lego set and they copy it brick for brick in the design and then they make the clone version of their bricks one by one they even copy the minifigure which the minifigures are so brittle they'll break in serious play for a little kid a Lego minifigure will hold for hours here, give you an idea. <clears throat> okay, I'll take this minifigure out. This minifigure may look not like, like much, but this thing will hold together for hours and hours and hours, maybe even years of play for a kid. A Leppin minifigure would break probably in the head or maybe even the legs. Now how I know that is, a friend of mine has given me a Leppin figurine before. I mean, he didn't give it to me, he just let me look it over. And that little figurine was so brittle, it was almost, I was almost scared I was going to break it on impact with touching it. I mean, I thought I was going to break it without even trying. It was that brittle of a piece of plastic. Like holding the most inexpensive, now, Leppin is pretty much so brittle so in the end you're buying a set if you're buying it for just the minifigures you're pretty much you pretty much bought a set that's so pathetic I mean in Lego they're nothing like Lego Lego is pretty much outdoing them in strength and their minifigures are stronger than Leppin so Lego wins pretty much and I'm complete for those of you who are like using the argument, I can't afford Lego. Yes, you can. Some of their sets they charge only 12 bucks for. 
Lepin sometimes charges almost close to the, the actual market price for some of their sets. Like the Alumanium Falcon. That set costed you, in Lepin, probably about 50 bucks. So if you're willing to pay 50 bucks, you can buy a Lego set. There are $50 Lego sets. There are $12 Lego sets. There are lots of different types. So if you think that, oh, it's better than it's because it's cheap, guess what? Lego's better because you can buy it for 10 bucks. You can buy a set for 5 bucks. You can buy a set for almost any amount with Lego because they have tons of different sets you can choose from. There are sets you can get at if you're just going to keep on using the same complaint over and over again, it's too expensive, it's too expensive. Go to a blasted flea market or a, or a Goodwill. That's what a lot of people do. That's what I do. And I've found sets, and if you think, check this out. I got this for only $10. See, there's the proof. There's the tag still intact. In other words, this is a Lego box. Some of you Lepin fans probably never even seen that. Some of you people who are into Lepin probably never seen a Lego box before in your whole life. But that's a Lego box. And it cost me only ten bucks. Same set. Had the complete parts in it. So in other words, you won't always get lucky, but you will find sets in the flea markets and in the Goodwills that are complete. And they're always cheap in the Goodwills or flea markets. You will sometimes find fake brands in the flea market, but they will probably be about the same price. Or pay, maybe if they're still in the box and the box is still factory sealed, it'll be more expensive then. And of course, flea market people, if they do get a Lepin set in my flea market, they burn it. So anyways, like I said, before you thumbs this video down, think of it this way. You're just completely... Just... if Before you thumbs this video down, please comment and tell me why you like Lepin so much. And I will answer that question with another question. And an, and an answer that you will know. But I will explain to you. Lepin is just fake. It is, it is a clone factory, practically speaking, where they make pathetic clones. But the sets are complete trash and garbage. So in the end, you're buying crap. And trash. And garbage. They don't even use non-toxic plastic. Another plastic is non-toxic, so if your kid by accident swallows it, he may be poisoned by it. I even heard from a friend of mine who has it that you gotta be careful if you choose to burn it because the brick has a type of toxic smell about it. And I don't really believe that, but I do know that it could have just about anything in it. So in the end, it's safer to get the Lego bricks, and if you keep saying Lepin is better, no it's not. You can buy sets for $12, you can buy sets for $10, you can buy sets for even less than that. If you go to Dollar Tree, or I mean not Dollar Tree, if you go to the flea market or Goodwill, you can buy a set for that much, for, for less than that. <clears throat> and none of them are fake either. I bought sets for $5 that are incredibly old, like the set that came with my rock monster. That is an incredibly old set. Well, that's it for today. Comment and subscribe, and this is the fourth Lepin rant, and this was where I was talking to the Lepin community and telling them off. I'm sorry for if any of you were not used to me being rude a little bit, but I needed to at least be a little more stern. According to a friend of mine, I needed to be a little more stern in my Lepin rant. So, like always, comment and subscribe.